Hi there. Hey, this is Mrs. Borgelt, and I would like to talk a little bit today about Lesson 40. And now, Lesson 40 kind of gets sort of long, and there's a lot of little pieces to it. So I'll do my best to try to do it as quickly as I can without causing too much undue stress on those who are listening. Uh, we're talking about sum of angle pairs of an angle, and then we're going to talk about the angle um, measures as well. Okay, looking at a rectangle and a square, they are both have the same number of degrees because they have four right angle corners. And if you add four times 90, you get 360. If you make a diagonal cut through a rectangle or a square, you're going to end up with two more triangles. Those triangle shapes are generally congruent and they have congruent sides and congruent angles. However, the total measure of each of these triangles is each 180 degrees, but of course we cut the 360 degree measure in half, so they would be 180. And by the way, all triangles are 180 degrees. Now here's a few examples. I just want you to take a look at them and then I want you to write your notes. Okay, when you look at the square, one of the things that you will notice about a square is that it has four sides that are all the same length. Four sides. And we mark them with a mark like this. They also have four right angles, like that. And when you run a diagonal through the middle, you create two two right angle triangles. They have right angle corners and they have this as one side. They share that side. Okay, So it is the same length. That's the hypotenuse. This angle is going to be this shared between the two. Okay, If you have a rectangle, it's 4 times 90, which is 360 degrees. If you cut it in half, diagonally, you get two exactly identical triangles. These two sides are the same on this triangle. This side is the same on each of the two triangles. Okay, and they both have 90 degree angles in the corner, so that's also a right triangle. Over here on the right side, you have the same as this, only set vertically. So that probably, I'm not going to spend any time explaining that one because it looks just the same. If you turn it sideways, it would be. Uh, at the bottom of this sheet um, is a 45-45-90 triangle, which is a special type of triangle. Uh, it is created basically by taking, it's probably the same as this one up here. Just move down, okay? Uh, when you cut it, it creates the hypotenuse of the triangle. Uh, it has a corner of 90 degrees. It has two legs that are exactly the same length. Now, when you have two legs of the same length, it creates a special situation. This leg is tied directly to this angle. This leg is tied to this angle. Now, if this leg and this leg are the same, then that means that this angle and this angle are going to be the same as well. And um, Notice that the 45, 45, 90, if you add them together, is 180. And also notice that this is a right triangle, be again, because it has a 90 degree angle in the corner. Okay, now, I'd like to talk a little bit about finding missing angles, if you would follow with me here. Sometimes you end up with a, a situation where you're finding a missing angle. They'll give you two angles or one angle, and they'll say, what is the third? So here are just three different explanations or three different situations where you have missing angles. In this case, you have uh, a right angle here, 50 to 3 degrees there, and X. Now, you have to remember that all of those angles have to add up to be 180 degrees. And if that is the case, then you would just take this 90 plus this 53, add them together, Knowing that you have one more angle to add in there to make 180. Add them together, subtract them from 180, you get 37. That is a right triangle. Down here in the middle, 
it's called an equilateral triangle. Uh, equilateral triangles, it really, honestly, I wouldn't have even had to have given you a um, measure at all because equilateral triangles are special. They have three sides that are the same and therefore three angles that are the same. So, since we are sharing 180 degrees and there's three angles, 180 divided by 3 is 60. So they could have not given us this 60 degree measure and we would have still known that all three of them were 60. Okay, over here on the right hand side at the top is a very strange looking triangle. It is still a triangle and it still does have 180 degrees. It's an obtuse triangle, you need to label that, and it has 130 degrees for its major angle and 25 for the angle over here, it's missing angle Z. Same method as over here, add the 130 and a 25 and Z, you would get 180. Add these two together, subtract them from 180 and you get 25, which interestingly enough is the same as this one. Okay, some definitions. Okay, uh, we have um, angle pairs such as adjacent angles. They share a common side and sometimes uh, I've heard it explained that they share usually it's a common ray. Remember a ray has an end point and then it pokes out like that. Okay, They share a common side or a common ray because an angle is really made with two rays with a vertex. Supplementary angles added together, the angles are 180 degrees. Complementary angles, when you add those together, they are 90 degrees. Vertical and opposite angles, a pair of non-adjacent equal. These are equivalent. So if you have one vertical angle that you know the measure of, the other vertical angle is the same. Okay? And here's just an example of what vertical angles look like. If I just draw an intersection of two lines, one and three are vertical angles across from each other. They would have the same measure. Two and four are also vertical angles across from each other and they would have the same measure. Okay, now I want to look a little bit about um, just doing some labeling of angle pairs. What we're looking for are vertical angles. Remember those that are across from each other. They don't share a side. Adjacent angles are angles that are right next to each other, and supplementary angles are angles that add to 180 degrees. Okay, and I have a whole list of them here, but I'd like to show them to you. So if you'd ignore the list for just a second and just take a look at our drawing here. For vertical angles, we have here and here, here and here another pair of vertical angles here and here here and here okay so you have this pair and this pair these two measure the same these two measure the same so in our first column we're going to have angle ABE and angle CBD and then you'd have angle ABC and angle EBD now the next category are angles that are adjacent. That means they share a common ray. Now sometimes it's a good idea to use a piece of paper to help you to see these. So I'm going to suggest that you do that. Grab a piece of paper, lay it on your paper so that you can actually see this. Okay. So what two angles share this ray? Ray B, C. Well, you might say, oh, well, A, B, C and D, B, C. Well, that works for me. That would be a good set. Okay, so I'm going to move my paper. What two angles share this ray? Oh, well, that's easy enough. C, B, D, E, B, D. And you can go on around and look at other pairs. What two angles share this ray? D, B, E, and A, B, E. They just have to share a common ray. And here's some, a list of them. Now, the supplementary angles are very similar, actually, in this particular drawing to the, to the adjacent angles. 
Supplementary angles, remember, have to equal 180 degrees. So we start here. Remember that 180 degrees is a straight line. So this angle and this angle together equal 180 degrees. So it would be EBA and ABC. And then you can move it here and say the same thing. You have ABC and CBD. The only, the only thing you have to be able to watch for is that they equal 180 degrees. You just got to find a straight line. So I will flip this. So we're going to find another one. Okay, and I'll move it. Sorry. Okay. On this, you have EBD and DBC. Because again, we're looking at a straight line. Two angles that together equal 180 degrees. So, that isn't too hard, I don't think. And there's the list again. I just didn't want you to get all tied up in the list and then not be able to pay attention to the angles. All right, now, I'm, and you may have to stop the video so that you can get those written down. I'm gonna shift over to um, the bottom of this page. We're gonna look at this drawing. And basically, it's just another practice in finding different pairs. First of all, adjacent angles. And again, you know, use a piece of paper. You, you're looking for angles that share the same ray. So, for instance, if you're looking at this particular set, okay, you have this ray right here. So if I go like this and I mark it like that, what two angles share this particular ray right here? Well, you have CAB and you have GAB, they share that ray. Okay, what two angles share this ray? Well, you have BAC and DAC. And you can go all the way around and find them. Not that hard. Uh, complementary angles are angles that add to be 90 degrees. We only have two sets of them. This these are 90 degrees. There's not an extra angle in there. But in this situation, we do have this set that if you add those two together, BAC and CAD, they equal 90 degrees. And you have another set here, GAF and FAE. And those two together equal 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are like we were talking about above. You look for the straight lines, okay? And you're trying to find two angles that are 180 degrees. Now, there's three angles in this particular one, so we're just gonna have to rename it. So, we're gonna go FAB, we're gonna ignore this. FAB and BAC. Those two together equal 180. We can just ignore this angle for the moment. It's still in there, but we're just not naming it. Same way with this over here. Okay, if we were to ignore this straight line, BAC and then CAE, we'd have another one equal to 180. Those are really pretty easy. And of course the vertical opposite angles, the opposite angles, and here's, here's the list here. Okay, the opposite angles are easy to see. We have one here and here. Then we have one here and here. And then I'll change colors again. We have one here and here. And then if you want to get just really super, super majorly, we have one here and one here here. All of those pairs have the same angles, same measurement. Interesting, huh? Okay, and actually I missed another one. We have one here and one there. So when you see all those, it's like, wow, that's a lot. So you want to stop and, and write those down. There might be some I haven't even written down on here. Okay. All right. On this last page, I just want to talk a little bit about, I want to remind you that when we're talking about any kind of drawings like this, we have to remind ourselves to remember the circle. The circle. 
gives us 360 degrees. This is 90, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. So that helps us to kind of remember that to all together, 360 each part, 180 for half, 180 for half, 180 for half, 180 for half. Two of these together are 90. Two of these together are 90. So that's kind of cool. All right, we have a, a, another drawing here, and I'm going to put this on here. And basically, we're just looking for missing, missing amounts. And this one's kind of cool because I didn't have this on here, but the Y was missing, okay? Well, we knew, and, and maybe I'll put this on here just so you can have the experience a little bit of it, okay? So you've got all the information, so you really have to go. I'm going to put this on here without this stuff on it. We didn't know why, but we knew its vertical friend over here, and its vertical friend was 30. So then y became 30. And we know this is 90, and 90 and 30 is 120. And we know a triangle is 180. So if we take 180 minus 120, we get our third angle here, and that's 60. Well, if we knew this was 30, and we don't know this one, then you take 180, which because this is a straight line, which is 180 degrees, we take 180 minus this 30, and we get 150 for Z. Okay? So it's kind of fun, actually. And here's what it actually looks like. And you, you, you'll want to write that down. Now this last part is kind of, uh, it's just something I like to do. And it, it's actually working with vertical angles almost entirely and alternate interior angles. If you start here, you have 65. Well, this is its vertical friend, so then it's 65. And this one plus this angle here has to be 180. So you just take 180 minus 65 and you get 115. And 2 and 4 are vertical angles, so then 4 has to be 115. And you go down here, and you have an alternate interior pair here. So if this is 65, then this is 65. And if this is 65, this plus this angle is 180. Well, we already know that's 115. So if this is 65, this is 65. And this is 115, and so therefore this is 115. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Well, I'm sorry if you got frustrated listening to me, and I hope this helps. Uh, I tried to make it as simple as I could, but sometimes it's kind of hard to make stuff like this simple. Sometimes you have to just do a lot of practice. So, thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.